unlike the Old Testament that was chronicled and compiled by various prophets and leaders from the nation of Israel, the New Testament has a much more interesting beginning. Remember the New Testament is in agreement with a much larger audience than the Old Testament. Christianity is God's plan for all mankind, and the New Testament, God's plan and book of faith for Christianity, begins with the central figure of Christianity, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Of the 27 books of the New Testament, Jesus wrote exactly zero of them. The New Testament talks a lot about Jesus and chronicles his life and sermons, but none of it was actually written by him. Instead, Jesus used his apostles and prophets to write the New Testament. That is why the Apostle Paul would say that the church is built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, Ephesians 2.20. Jesus sent out 12 apostles. In fact, the word apostle means one sent forth to preach and teach uh, people about him and his message of salvation. He did this in Matthew 28, 18 through 20, after he died on the cross and been resurrected from the dead. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Jesus also made it clear that everything the apostles taught came with his full and complete authority and backing. He went so far as to say, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Now, the apostles were just men. They made mistakes. They sinned, and they certainly weren't perfect. So how can we trust that they would say, preach, and teach the right things? Well, Jesus had an answer for that. He told the apostles that they would be guided by the Holy Spirit who would tell them exactly what they needed to say and exactly how to say it. The Holy Spirit would give them perfect recollection of the events of the past and an understanding of any new teachings needed after Jesus left. These 12 men were given specific and profound insight directly from God's Spirit. Jesus told them this would happen after he left them. In John 14, 25 through 26, he told his apostles, These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all all that I have said to you. So the early church was guided by the apostles and prophets, and these apostles and prophets were guided by the Holy Spirit and fully authorized to preach and teach by Jesus Christ himself. So where does the New Testament come in? Well, the New Testament is a compilation of the writings of those apostles and prophets so that you and I, long after they've departed this earth, would be able to read and understand their teachings and this agreement God made to save mankind through his Son. The Apostle Paul says in Ephesians 3, 3 through 4, The mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly, and when you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ. Likewise, the Apostle Peter wrote in his letter, I think it right as long as I am in this body to stir you up by way of reminder, since I know that the putting off of my body will be soon as our Lord Jesus Christ made clear to me. And I will make every effort so that after my departure, you may be able at any time to recall these things. 2 Peter 1, 13-15 These apostles and prophets were sent by Jesus and guided by the Holy Spirit, and they penned every word of the New Testament. So you and I would be able to perceive the will of God through these immortalized writings. Which is exactly why Paul would say, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed.